Hey guys, it's Dima from Demostech and today we are going to show you how to unlock and lock your computer with just plugging and unplugging your flash drive. So first of all, let's go ahead and download the USB Raptor. Now the installation is pretty simple. You basically just need to extract the zip wherever you want. I would suggest to extract it somewhere in your C drive in program files or something. But for my example, I don't care where do I extract it. Now let's launch the USB Raptor. Okay, so first of all, you should allow the access on the USB Raptor, although you don't really need it to access to the internet, so it's not necessary. But let's go ahead and allow it. Here, basically, you need to agree all the policies and etc. Press I agree. Now, this is the main window of the uh, uh, USB Raptor. Let's go ahead and use our USB. Let me insert my USB into the USB drive. So, that's pretty much it. Recognized as E. Uh, let's set a password just for example. Let's put 12345 just for ease. Now, Please note, if you will lose your USB flash drive with a key, you will be able still to log in with that password that you enter here. Now let's go ahead and create the K3 file. Now in my case, uh, it already has one, we'll just overwrite it, that's pretty much it. Now we can go ahead and enable the USB Raptor, but I want to go to the advanced and look into more settings that we have here. So we can run it with uh, Windows Startup. Uh, we can uh, start it and system tray, so wherever you start it, it actually starts at system tray. Let's go ahead and use that. Uh, USB Raptor starts always immediately uh, armed, so basically whenever the app is started, it will always be armed, always be on. Let's uh, enable that. We can go ahead now and enable our USB Raptor, uh, and that's pretty much it. It's already enabled. Uh, I'm not really sure about the enable receiver, it's something through network. I'm not going to use that, let's just in case disable that one. Now you can uh, also enable the security for the USB Raptor interface and password protect it as well. We're not going to do that for now. Now lock behaviors, uh, basically you can use the simple one, uh, this will use the Windows lock and you don't suggest to use it because if you are using it, let's use the, the USB Raptor lock in sane mode which will allow us all the options from the USB Raptor. Now you can delay your lock, so if you'll just unplug your USB, you will still uh, be able to use your computer for that period of time, and then it will lock itself. Uh, it can make it sound while it's locking, and from now on unlock also has a sound. Actually this one was added, I think, just today, because yesterday when I downloaded it on another computer, I didn't have that option yet. So that's pretty much cool. Now on the lock features we can uh, play around here as well. We can also allow it uh, to lock without the USB functionality. Uh, we have uh, backup access obviously, the password, so if you want actually to prevent that option you can do it here, but I wouldn't recommend it because then you'll be locked out if you lose your uh, thumb drive. Now here you have some other uh, pretty much security options. Uh, I'm not going to play around here for now. Uh, network, as I said, I'm not going to use that one for now. And also you have unlock file settings, so you basically can unlock files, etc. Uh, let's go ahead and minimize it to tray. It's already armed. Basically we can close everything. And as you can see, this is my desktop. Well, I shouldn't have closed the folder, but whatever. And let's unplug the USB and see what happens. And boom. And it also made a sound. So this is the USB Raptor lock screen. It looks really ugly. You can customize it, but seriously, you can't make it look like Windows Logan screen. Now, if you double tap on the screen anywhere, like this, you will be able to unlock your computer with the password that we preset. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that. One, two, three, four, five. Enter. It takes a moment. It looks like it logged out, but it didn't. It's sort of refreshes of the windows. Uh, it looks ugly, but it works. Now, uh, let me again uh, 
enter the USB key. So basically now USB Raptor is armed again and we can basically uh, unplug the USB and again it will lock. So as you can see now it's locked. Uh, for some reason it takes some time for the sound to go out, but whatever. And this time I'm going just to plug in the USB back. And almost in no time it logs us in. Now, uh, if you are in that uh, weird lock screen, let's go ahead and go there now. You shouldn't be able to use any other option to unlock your computer. You basically can still lock it with uh, WinL. I'm not going to show it now, but you can. Uh, you shouldn't be able to use like, uh, I don't know, the task manager, etc. So yeah, I'm trying to open it now, and as you can see, nothing opens. Uh, if you press Control delete I never tried that one. Uh, that actually sort of works, so you can... Let's try to use Task Manager. And as you can see, it's back to that window, and nothing happens. Now, to be honest, for me, it's not even a challenge. I wouldn't use this tool for security reasons. Because... For me, I can unlock it pretty easily without any thumb drive, without any password. You just need to find a way to kill that program on that site, which is pretty easy for me. But if you have kids around, etc., and you want to lock it with a flash drive, so that's a pretty good idea. So let's log in again. And that's pretty much it. Now you are logged in again. So that's pretty much it for this video, you know what to do, like this video if you liked it, dislike if you didn't, although you shouldn't, and as always, don't forget to subscribe, and when you do, don't forget to ring that little bell to receive future video updates. And as always, see you in the next one!